Hi, my name is Bruce Wade. So you want to create an online marketing course. Well, I think you've come to the right place. This course is going to take you through all the different steps and stages that are required to make a effective online training course. That's very different from any manual course or book or set of slideshows that you might have done in the past. E-learning requires a slightly different tack to what is normal. And we'll take you step by step through each and every one of them. But before we start, I want to talk to you about three things, three important things that could really have a go, no-go point for you in this journey of yours. The first thing I want you to think about is to consider the content, the content of your course. Now, not every course is able to be translated from a book or a manual or a workshop into e-learning. The course content requires a lot of refinement and often a complete rewrite. It's got to be short, sharp, to the point, and it's got to be able to come across from presenter through the camera to the person on the other side in a simple and easy to understand format. You don't necessarily have that classroom eye contact or the one-on-one -on -one contact or the luxury of writing thousands of words to get your illustrated point across like you would in, in a book. E-learning is about short, sharp hits and nips and tucks around a product or a service or an idea to get those points across. Consider the content. Is it able to be translated across the line into an e-learning environment? The second thing I want you to think about is your market. Who are your customers? Are your customers readily available and willing to do an e-learning course? Now in the world today there's e-learning that is still one of the emerging markets and the early adapters have seized this. But on the other end we have the laggers and the skeptics who are sitting going, oh, this stuff costs too much money and I need to download and people are still a little bit scared about data and accessibility and is something I do online really valid and all that. So consider your content, consider your market. Is this the right course? for your people at this time? And often, in more cases than not, the answer is no. But if your customers are ready and have got access to the market and things are changing rapidly, every month we see advances in, advances in technology and new ideas and new accessibles and stuff. And soon we'll have you know, Wi-Fi rolled out across many new towns and places throughout Africa. So, you know, maybe not now, but in a few months time, six months time, a year time, maybe, but just consider your market at the moment. The third thing, of course, is the cost. Oh, we've always got to consider the cost. The cost of making an e-learning environment is not something you can just overlook. It could cost you a whole bag of money. Now, there's various types of videos and various types of attributes, and we're going to show you a number of the, those in this course. So watch the course to the end, then decide on how to structure your course. In my experience, the more you do your homework, the more you do your preparation, the less the cost. Three things to consider. Consider your content, consider your market, and consider the cost before you go ahead and create that. Don't commit to anything and find yourself down the road, going down a road that you do not want to go and it's very hard to turn back and it's going to cost you a lot more than just money but reputation, time and effort as well.